Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about how you can crop your artwork or your photo for the best presentation when you turn it in for a grade. There's two ways you can get your photo in a Google Doc. The first way is to insert the photo that's already been taken with your webcam that's on your drive. And the second way is to take a photo in the Google Docs app. So I'm going to walk you through how to do both of them. So first you open a new Google Docs. Okay, and this is going to be the one where I show you how to do it through your drive. So enter a pic through the drive. This means you've already taken the picture. So you're going to go up here where it says insert. Click on that. Click image and then go upload. No, not upload for the computer. Go down to drive. And on the Google Drive, here are some photos that I've already taken. So here's a photo I took a long time. You click on it, and down here at the bottom, it's going to say one selected and insert. You're going to click that again, and it's going to put the picture that you already took into your Google Doc. And you can see on this picture that the art is a little bit crooked. There's the table showing and half of a name tag. So this is the perfect example of art that I would want to crop. So that's the first way. The second way that you can add a picture, and I'm going to do it in the same document. I'll just go down to a new page. And now we're going to um, take the picture. So you're going to go to insert image. And you're going to go right down to the word camera. Click on that, and it's going to start loading your webcam. Here I am. And this is the art I want to take a picture of. You don't want to hold it like this because you're going to end up cropping out most of it. So if you have a rectangle part like this, try to hold it down here somewhere or somewhere where most of your fingers are not going to show. And then click that and click insert. And it's going to insert this picture into your document. I don't want you turning in work that shows the background, your face, your hands, any of that. So now I'm going to show you how to crop the photo. So the first thing is, Here's a picture of me showing the artwork. So you're going to scroll down for me, and we're going to look at this. When you click on any photo, the first time you click on it, you're going to get these blue squares and a very thin blue outline around your document. The blue lines and squares are for resizing, so you can make it bigger or smaller, and to move the image around on the page. I'll show you how to resize right now, but I Important note, if you want to keep it in the right proportion so it doesn't distort it, you're going to hold the shift key while you resize it. Okay, so here's the original. Let's say I want to make this bigger to work with. I click on it once and all this blue lines show up. You're going to go to one corner until you get that arrow pointing diagonally. Hold the shift key and drag it. That makes your document bigger, and sometimes that's easier for you to work with. Once you get to what you like, hit the word enter, or the key, return, or enter, or click off with your mouse over here, and you'll get the blue lines to disappear. So that's the first thing you could do to enlarge it. I'm going to undo that and show you what happens if you don't hit the shift key and you just drag. You can make it, oh, this one's actually holding the proportions. Sometimes it'll distort it if you don't hit shift. So here's my document now, and I've made it bigger. So that's the blue lines and squares. The second thing, if you click it twice, you're going to get these black line segments on the top and in all of the corners. And that's how you can crop it and cut off the stuff you don't want. I'm going to go up here to this document. So if I click it once, I get blue lines. Click it twice, the black lines show up. You're going to drag with your mouse the black lines down to frame out what you would like to see. So I'm going to drag it down there. The shaded part in the um, top left area, that's what's going to get cut off. If you see over here, I can still kind of see some background, so I'm going to actually drag it in a tiny bit more. And now I'm going to go down here, and I want to drag this one up here. I don't want my fingertips showing, so I'm actually going to cut off a tiny bit of the art and drag it like that using my mouse pad. When you see just what you want in this area and all the shaded stuff is in the background, hit return and it will crop it off for you. So that's how you crop your photo. So now we're gonna go through doing it one more time. I'll do it on this document. So right now it's kinda of hard for me to see the whole picture. So what you can do is go up here and it should have, 
up here there should be something that says where you can make your screen smaller. I don't know why mine's not showing up right now. If you can shrink your screen, sometimes that makes it easier for you to see the whole um, object. Okay, so we don't need to resize this one. It's the size of the page, which is good. So I'm gonna double click on it until I see those black lines show up. Pull the black line up to what you want. You can crop as many times as you want. So since you can't see this whole picture, you can, we're gonna crop it twice. So there I crop the bottom off and I crop the right, hit return and it cuts it off. Scroll up here, double click again so the black lines show up, drag it so that it's cropping that off, hit return again, and now you can see that all of your art is there. If you go to this blue circle, that kind of will let you rotate your art, which is kind of cool. If you see, here, if you look right here, you see how the left has less space than the top right? It kind of looks like it was crooked. Put your cursor, your mouse, over this blue circle like a crosshair and you kind of rotate it and it's gonna turn your artwork. And then if you want to recrop it from here, you can do that. Okay, and hit enter. So this is the way to crop. Unfortunately, the cropping doesn't um, rotate the crosshair. So I'm gonna undo it and leave it like this. And I just wanna show you what these three options down here mean in case you don't know. This is um, telling you how your picture is gonna act with words that are in your Google Doc. The first one on the left says inline. That means that the words are gonna go around the picture, but they're pretty much not gonna go on the right or the left if your picture is there. This middle one is wrap the text. That means the picture is there and the words just go all around it like they can. And this break text means it'll go above the picture, below the texture, and nowhere else. I like wrap text because it usually makes it um, pretty small. And here, I'm gonna just quick show you what the examples are. I'm gonna get rid of this right here. Just so you have an idea if you're ever putting a document in. So if I'm gonna write, this is how you crop a picture. I am writing words to show you how they wrap around depending on the options you choose. So I'm gonna make this font bigger so you can see that it's gonna wrap. I'll make it really big. Okay, so this we chose right now, this one um, is on wrap text. So the text goes wherever you want it to. If I click on that one, you're gonna see that the when I move the picture, it's going to kind of cut into the words and do that weird thing. And if you click on break text, the words will always stay together no matter where you move the picture. It will not go on the left and the right. So again, I like this wrap text one the most. And that way, if you wanna put like your picture on the right, the words are all nice on the left, okay?